Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert from Helton's Computer Repair. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can uninstall a vest for your antivirus. Now, we've had problems before that we tried to go to settings and go to apps, and then possibly a vest could be missing in this file, or you try and run this file and it doesn't want to be removed. That's one of the possibilities that's been happening. Another common one that we've been doing is going to control panel, and then you go into programs, programs and features. And then you see a vast antivirus and you try and run that file and it doesn't want to work or if you press it and it gets missing possibility or something related to it. And another common one that I've been getting a lot is that people are trying to use that removal tool that we're going to use too from a vast and it doesn't want to go into safe mode. Well in this video I'll be showing you how to get into safe mode first before having to do this whole process of having troubles in there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much just go to a browser. I'm pretty much using Chrome and there's already Google there, but I'm going to pretend like we're going to google.com just to show you. And from there we're going to type in a vast removal tool and it already kind of came up. And this is one you're going to choose right here, It'll say a vast uninstall utility. From that point, you're going to see all the settings here that this is not this is not possible to uninstall a vest the standard way using removal blah 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 probes. What we're actually going to do is we're just going to still run this file and download it. And there's the file, it is downloaded. I'm now going to go ahead and select that little button on the right there and you can select show in folder. If not, you can just pretty much go to the same location by going to your browser, open up Explorer, and then you see downloads and there's your same file right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just move this to the desktop. You don't have to move this. You can leave it there. It's just an option for you. I'm just making it easier for the selections. Now, there's a couple ways you can get into safe mode. You can simply just go to the start and press the power button. And when you press restart, you hold the shift. And I'll go to prompt, and then you'll have some options to get into safe mode. But to make this easier for you all, we're just going to go ahead and go to start and type in msconfig. And then you'll see system configurations and select it. And you're then going to go to boot. From that point, you're going to choose safe mode. And I think all we need is just minimal settings for it. But why not? I'm going to go ahead and enable network because I just feel like it. From that point, I'm going to hit and press apply and OK. And then it's telling you if you want to exit without restart. I'm actually going to go ahead and restart it. If it hasn't restarted right now, restart your computer. It should go into safe mode. All right, so the computer is pretty much coming into safe mode now. And here's the file that I'm going to use. Uh, here's Windows coming up like, hey, it seems that you need Windows for help. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and exit. Here's the file now from Avast, and I'm going to run it now in safe mode. And here comes the system. And you see it even prompt telling that it's best going into safe mode. Now, again, here's the location. You have to figure out where you actually saved your file where Avast is installed. This is usually the default settings where they are. If they are somewhere else, you might need to go to program files and it could be Avast software. It could be something related to location. And if you had on a different hard drive, let's say if you had on a D drive on programs, it will be at that location where it's at. That's something that you would have to know based on your hardware that you've used before on there. And then you can choose what versions in there. I pretty much leave the free antivirus right there. Conclusion, I think it pretty much probably removes all of them because the whole point is pretty much a clear system but if not I can choose a pro and you know what I mean you can choose a premium it all depends but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Avast free antivirus and press uninstall and let it do its own work and then now it tells us you want to restart your computer now this may probably fix this problem. I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. If it still stays in safe mode, then it's the settings that we need to do to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer right now and we'll see if it actually goes back to normal. So I press restart computer, but it seems it's not working. That is fine. I don't really need it to be done right now. So this is where you're at. You're now stuck in safe mode. To do this, you're going to go to the same place again. and I'm going to type in msconfig. 
and then you're going to choose to boot and you're going to go to safe mode you see it already actually unchecked it so it might actually already be done it was unchecked so i'm gonna press ok and let's go ahead and just restart your computer now and let's see what it does And it seems Windows 10 is pretty much back to normal. It's not in safe mode anymore. And it looks like Avast is gone. But let's verify this, okay? Windows still loading up. Give it a little bit of time. There it goes, coming up. All right. So let's go ahead and go to settings again just to verify and to see if we see anything of Avast there. I don't see Avast in this list anymore. I'm going to go ahead and go to Control Panel programs, programs and features, and I don't see a vast here either. Let's go ahead and go to the start menu, and I don't see a vast in this list. Now the funny one, I'm going to check right here because the vast likes to be removed, but somehow the vast, if you got the extension installed on your browser, you probably need to uninstall it. So I'm going to see if it's actually on here. I don't see the extension here, but if you ever do see the extension here, you pretty much would just right click on it and just remove or uninstall that extension because pretty much it's a pain in the butt. I'm actually going to go ahead and open up Firefox and see if it's on there because it could be there. And here's a notification. It tells you a vast is on there. So here's the vast and I'm going to press enable if it was there. And if you don't want this system you get the point. Um, here's a vast. You would press to remove the extension that you don't want it anymore. That would be the same concept on pretty much Chrome. Firefox, Edge, I, I don't even know, let's actually take a check and see if it's on Edge, I don't even and I don't think it's there, I haven't even opened up Edge on this system yet, because I don't really use Edge that much, but that's pretty much it, if you are still having problems, just let me know, there's other ways that you can do this, and there's some videos I've made before, how to just use um, Revo Uninstaller, that does the whole work for you, if you haven't seen that video yet, I will actually go ahead and give the link, but that's pretty much it, thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video, then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest, I will see you on the next video.